welcome to another episode of the Power Oil Healthy Food Series where I show you how to make lots of healthy and mouth-watering recipes using the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. I hope you have been enjoying this series and recreating some of the recipes in your kitchen. And I also hope you've been using the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil to recreate your recipes. I'm giving you the side eyes if you haven't. <laughs> But jokes apart guys, the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil is a healthy cooking oil and unlike their unbranded counterparts, they are fortified with vitamins A and E and omega 6 and 9. They have no cholesterol and no trans fat whatsoever, which makes them exceptionally great for the heart. So ensure you're cooking these recipes with the Power Oil Pure Vegetable Oil. Today I'm going to show you the perfect way to fry your fish. I know a lot of people struggle with that and then later on I'll proceed to showing you an easy way to make fish stew accompanied with a mouth-watering and colorful steamed vegetable white rice. This recipe is the only recipe that you'll be needing for lunch today, tomorrow, next tomorrow or the day after that. <laughs> All right guys, let's get started. For this recipe, you would need some crocker fish, garlic, pepper and some spices, flour, onions, tomato paste, blended tomato and pepper puree, washed rice, some chopped veggies, salt and of course the power oil, pure vegetable oil. So to get things started, I'm going to start by making a marinade for the fish. It's always very important that you marinate your fish with lots of flavorful spices or lots of aromatic spices so that your fish will not turn out tasting really bland. So over here, I have some marinated spices I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using some thyme. I'll put it in the blender. I'll be using some curry powder as well. What I'm doing is a, is a wet marinade, not a dry one. And that's the reason I'm using a blender, but you can make a, a dry marinade if that's what you prefer. I'm also gonna be using some scotch bonnet peppers, garlic cloves, seasoning cubes. I'll grab the power oil, pure vegetable oil, and just drizzle a little bit of it in the blender as well. I'll put some salt in as well. Ideally, I should have used some fresh herbs like parsley or cilantro, or dill which goes really well with fish but I don't have any so I'm just gonna keep it um, very minimal then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to help the blending process and then I just blend away okay so that's the blending all done is a great add-in to any delicacy and fish in particular is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids and it also has calcium and phosphorus in it as well and then as part of a healthy lifestyle habit it is recommended to eat fish at least twice every week so ensure you inculcate more fish into your diet okay so i'm just adding all of the fish pieces into my bowl i'm using croaker fish by the way and it's been cleaned and scaled the scaled rather thoroughly Next up, I'm just going to transfer all of the marinade that I blended up earlier into the, into the bowl and then just ensure that the fish pieces are thoroughly coated with the marinade. I'll just go in with my hands. I think it will make the work a lot faster. Then just ensure that the fish is thoroughly coated with the marinade. It's always advisable to get the insides of the fish as well. Don't just concentrate on the outer part. Go right into the fish. So ideally, I'm supposed to leave this to marinate for some time. Usually, um, it can go as much as an hour to 24 hours or overnight. It just depends on you. And then I would definitely advise that you leave it to marinate in the fridge for a while so that the flavors can seep into the fish. Now pour the power oil into the pan enough for a deep fry and allow to heat up slightly. Then add about two to three tablespoons of flour into the oil. Now this will help prevent the fish from sticking to the pan and will also help create a crisp 
exterior on the fish. Then proceed to add the marinated fish pieces into the very hot oil and allow to fry on one side for 45 minutes or until browned before flipping to the other side. Allow to fry again until brown, then take the fish pieces out of the hot oil and place on a plate lined with paper towel. To make the fish stew, add some more power oil to a clean pot, then throw in the chopped onions and saute for 30 seconds. Afterwards, add some curry powder, thyme, crayfish powder, seasoning cubes and some salt to taste. Stir fry for a further 1 minute to wake up the spices. Next, add the tomato paste, mash it into the oil and stir fry for another 1-2 to two minutes or until it becomes very crumbly. Then grab the tomato slash pepper blend base. Now in this blend, I have some tomatoes, tatashe, atarodo, onions, garlic, and ginger. Now give it a good stir to combine. Cover the pot and allow to cook for eight to 10 minutes or until it's completely dry. Meanwhile, for the steamed veggie rice, add a very little amount of power oil into a pot. Then add some onions and minced garlic along with some salt. Stir fry till fragrant, then add enough water into the pot to cook the rice through. Grab the washed rice and transfer into the pot. Cover the pot and allow to steam on medium heat till very tender. Now this is what the stew is looking like after 10 minutes of frying. Add the fried fish into the stew, then cover the pot and allow to cook for a further 5 minutes. This is what the fish stew should look like after cooking. The rice is 98% cooked at this point. I'll grab the chopped vegetables and add into the pot. I used some carrots, red and green bell peppers, fresh corn and frozen peas. Cover the pot and allow to steam for about 5 minutes or until the rice is fully cooked. Open up the pot and give it a good stir to combine. Now this is how you cook a flavorful steamed veggie white rice. Serve on a plate along with the stew and enjoy guys. Ensure you call your family and friends to join you in the feast. The end of the matter. <laughs> you guys know that the taste test part is usually my favorite part of the entire cooking process. Mm. I mean, I mean, what is there not to love with rice and stew? Mm, 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 mm. The rice looks super colorful. The stew. Tastes absolutely amazing and so, so, so attractive. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. Sunday rice and stew is usually a must have in every Nigerian home and this recipe is perfect for it. Ensure you try it out, okay? And please use the healthiest cooking oil, the power oil, pure vegetable oil. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.